Hey, Cindy Phillippe here with a quick Instagram tip. Uh, use Iconosquare to search your uh, hashtags and then look in here. Now, this one never give up over 4 million. That's There's too much there. Your stuff will never get seen. Uh, never give up on your dreams. This one uh, has about 26,000, so check it out first and make sure it's not being spammed a lot. It's got some variety. Uh, good quality on the uh, you know, the posts that people are putting in there. Uh, so that one looks good. Uh, you can go back and check out some other ones, but here I'll show you this never give up. It's uh, it's just everything's going to speed through here. Uh, it doesn't look too bad as far as the quality, uh, but it gets it's had over 4 million hits, so uh, I wouldn't use it for my marketing. And what I did was I, I picked a, a post at random. So, well, it was something that, that I liked uh, that was in my marketplace, not necessarily one like this because I'm not into uh, fitness and weight uh, weightlifting and that type of stuff. But then I looked at other people's tags that were related to mine and wrote them down and then went back up to here and started researching them and when I did the never give up I decided that one I didn't want to use but the next one is only 26,000 never give up on your dreams and that one looked really good and uh, never give up hope uh, that one I looked at that and that was not really um, it didn't really look like it fit in I'm not quite sure what some of these people are are posting for. Uh, it just didn't quite hit me right. So I mean, it, it, you just have to use your own judgment. Uh, never give up on yourself. That one's starting to get down to uh, a, a lower number. You don't want it to get too low now. But this one looks like it has a lot of good quality posts in here. Uh, people who are really trying to put out a good message. So I would use this one. And but if you get down here into never give up on dreams, that's only got 1800. Whereas never give up on your dream or never give up on your dreams, so one letter can make a difference, uh, actually look like they did better. And I would go with this one versus one that's down here that doesn't get as much traffic. Sometimes it's misspellings or the it's just not necessarily exactly how somebody would say it commonly so uh, that's why they don't get as many hits so that's what you got to look for uh, another one I was reaching or, or I mean researching was dream big Whoop. no spaces dream big now dream big also has it's got almost two million so I wouldn't go with that but let's see if there's something else Dream big. Some of these are hard to read. Let's see if I. Well, okay. There we go. Dream big or go home. <laughs> All right. Let's check that one out. Of course, you can't see that this is just, they're bigger, but uh, you know this this looks like uh, it has some decent quality and a mix of people. If you find ones where somebody has spammed it and half of it's just one person, you don't want that. So that one looks like a, a decent one. So that's Dream Big or Go Home. And go back to Dream Big. Dream Big. Uh, Dream Big Work Hard. Dream Big Dreams. You know, so you just go through this and then that's how you find some really good hashtags. This has a lot of good sayings in it. I like this one. It's got a lot of quality in there and a lot of different people. So that's that's the idea with uh, using Iconosquare for hashtags and uh, uh, you, know, you can find new ones because you, you tend to use the same ones over and over. But if you go into something that, that fits your uh, fit your market and see what 
what they're using in there. You can pick up some new ones and research them. So that's how you do it. Hope that's helped and you found some value.